pray uh, you ask the God to pass the John. Bless you, bless you. Bless the John and to all that are here. I said to thank God for being here today. And I yeah. just thank God for another day. Yeah. He allowed me to see. Now I'm going to wake up this morning, yeah. closed in my right mind. And you know, that's a blessing there. Amen. And I just appreciate the blessings of God because he's been good to me. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, I'm not a speaker. I said, I don't know why he asked me to speak. I'm not no speaker. <laughs> I'm kind of one of them. Whatever my hands find to do. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I do. So I just want to thank God. You know, for his goodness. I can't tell how good God is, how he's been good, All good right. to me. Amen. And so, you know, I'm just grateful for that this morning. And I think that's my daughter probably was trying to call me. Wow. Trying to, you know, get here. So we we just so grateful for another day. And I say, I'm not Amen. sure if it's Women's Day, but I think that's what she said. So anyway, <laughs> I just thank God for being Amen. here. Amen. Praise the city of David. And you know, God is just good. Yeah. Uh, I was at the hospital kind of late last night. Uh, with my sister, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, God has just uh, brought her from a long ways, even though she got you know uh, a way to go. But you know, I just thank God for how He's still keeping her. Yeah. And it seemed like by the time one thing gets straight, then the doctors, you know, come with something else. Mm -hmm. And uh, her husband, he's a pastor in Port Arthur, Texas, so he haven't been to his church in probably over a month. Oh. I think it's been probably about a month now, because soon as he seemed like he wanted finna go. Something happened, and he he he's not gonna leave. He's gonna stay till he make sure, you know, everything is okay. So you know, I thank God for him for being that kind of pastor and a husband that he sticks Amen. right there, yeah. you know, with her. And thank God that his brother is a sister pastor, so he have some help, Amen. you know, when he's not there. But I just thank God, and I don't thank God for my son. Amen. I tried to call him last night, and he didn't answer. And I'm like. I need me a show for this man. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so I yeah, called him God. this morning. I said, I need a show. I need somebody to drive me. So he yeah. got ready and then he brought his little one. So, you know, I thank God for him, you know, Amen. Uh, Amen. for that. And I just, I'm so grateful, you know, just to be here. And uh, I'm not long-winded. I'm kind of like I hear the evangelist yeah, say, say, God is all night God, but I ain't no all night God. <laughs> So God is all day God. <laughs> Amen. But we're going to go to the book of uh, Romans. Because right. I heard a preacher. I was listening to a preacher last week while I was up at the hospital. And he was talking about uh, this lady. And uh, he was saying different things about it. I said, well, I'm going to look this lady up and see, you know, what did she do? And uh, her name is uh, Rhoda. Am I pronouncing that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 we're going in Romans, the 16th chapter. All right. And we're just going to do the first and second verse. No, that's not Rhoda. I'm not pronouncing her name right. Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. And I got it right here. Okay. Uh, Uh, it says first uh, sixteen one. It says, "I commend, I commend unto you, Phoebe, okay. our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Caesarea, Caesarea, uh, that ye receive her mm -hmm. in the Lord, as becoming saints." And that ye assist her in whatsoever business she had need of, need of you. For she had been a successor of many and of myself also. And I was just reading about this, this lady, Phoebe. And uh, it went on to say that she was a faithful servant. Mm -hmm. And the servant here, I was looking and said, a deaconess. And I know uh, what a deacon, a job of a deacon. I thought about Stephen. Uh, even though he was a, a deacon, he really did what a pastor. You know, he, he did everything. You know, he took on that role. God just had, you know, blessed him in that. And here, this lady, she was a, a, a deaconess. And she was, a, the topic is a faithful servant. All right. And you know to be faithful, that means 
people can count on you. All right. You All know, right. they don't have to look for you. Yeah. Uh, you show up two or three weeks. All right. You know, sometime maybe a month, and you don't hear from them. Yeah. And you know, stuff like that. That's not a faithful person. That's it's kind of like you're on a regular job. All right. You know, if you the every day the boss man or whoever, they don't have to worry. They just know you're gonna be there. Gonna be there. Yeah. And if something happened, they know you're gonna call and say something happened, an emergency or whatever, that you can't be there. And there's another one, you can't count on. That's why they can't keep no job. All right. You know, they there a couple of days and it's like, well, what happened to so right. and so? All they ain't know where to be found, they don't know how to call. So you can't depend on people like that. That's you have right. to get faith for people yeah. that you can depend on, you ain't got to worry about it. Even if they're on the job, you don't have to put no monotone on all right. Screen on them to see if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right, all right. You know, because some people, you, you, you got to go look for them sometimes. Yes, yes. But where's so and so? They in the bag, you got 30 minutes break, you take 40. All right. You know, they got to go look for you and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. But you know, a faithful, God is looking for faithful. Yeah. Faithful people. Amen. You know, he can count on. And they say Phoebe was known as a servant and a helper. All right. She apparently was wealthy. Uh, that I was reading, she helped support Paul's ministry. So he had a ministry, and you know, sometimes we need support. All right. We need help, and Amen. sometimes people can support financially, so uh, you know, physically, so whatever it takes yeah. to keep the, the the you know God's uh, program going. Amen. That's what we should do. Amen. And one got more than the other one. So, you know, we shouldn't look at maybe what the other one got because everybody got different gifts. All right. So we should give, you know, as God uh, has given us. And this lady, you know, she was a servant. She didn't mind working. Mm -hmm. You know, my, I'm reading about her. You know, she didn't mind working and, and helping and whatever it takes. And, and, you know, I thought about this lady. Uh, <clears throat> we call her Mother Benny. Uh, that was Sister Brown. Crane Brown. You know, I'm talking about Superintendent Brown. Right? And that was her mom. And I remember this lady, uh, she had a, I forgot how many children it is she had. But anyway, when we met her, she was just a type of person. She would be the prayer. Uh, she had a van. And it seemed like mother wouldn't get on the highway. You know, that van sometimes it was looking. But she would get on that road. She would get one of her daughters to drive. She would go pick up people for church. Bring them back home, and then sometimes she'll feed them before she can take them back to to their house. Yeah. And uh, and the pastor Armstrong, I remember when we first went to Umbo, uh, where well, he was a mayor, but he would come and visit. And when they got a house, she made a little room. She had a, a little room that she fixed up before she even fixed up her kids' room. She fixed it up, put a little desk in there, a little lamp. You know, what's the profit? You know that the the will of, yeah, and she fixed all that so when he came, he had a place to stay. He didn't have to go to a hotel unless he just wanted to. Mm -hmm. But she had this little room provided for him. She would cook for him because she loved to cook. And she just looked after the pastor, you know, when he came from California. Wow. And I thought about, you know, a servant and a missionary, you know, that, that's a duty. She, yeah. I, yeah. I was looking, reading about this lady, and I, and I just thought about mother, how she had love for people. And how she would just cook and feed people, and and she had her own household. She had her husband, you know, and her children, foster children she had. But she would look out after the man of God, you know, and like I say, feed him, take care of him, and she would try, you know, raise money to send, you know, and all this stuff. And I was looking like, you know, that's that's a great job. Though. You got to really be the soul out yeah. to God, yeah. your time, your energy, and, and just where well, you just love people. And I can remember one time she just took. She went to California for one uh, summer, and there was some young guys, they was coming to church. She had loaded them all in the van and went to California. <laughs> you know, I guess she just wanted to just take somebody, just, but that, that's the kind of person, you know, she was. So I remember that about her when I was reading about this this lady here, how, so you know, how to, what a blessing she was when she got saved. And, uh, and evidently she either grew up in this little town next to close to Corinth and I was reading about the Corinthian people at first and how they would worship in the temple but they would worship all of God mm -hmm. and they did all kind of, all kind of stuff. things yeah. that wasn't godly you know but then God went in that place and saved all right. you know people and I was reading about this man too evidently he had came out of there but God had saved him and then he was 
you know, he was an example. And, and I think, I don't know if he ended up to be a pastor, evangelist, but then he went to spreading the gospel about the good news, you know, of God. But I just, yeah, I just had my, you know, when I started talking about, the, you know, the, the, the women back there, how All they right. work and support it. And you know that, that's what we should do it. Sometimes we look at the, maybe the pastors or, or the ministers or the men, but the women played a great role, right. you know, back there in the Old Amen. Testament. And Amen. you know, we today, we, we have a role to play too, uh, you know, as being a uh, people of God. Because once God saved you, you, you just got a heart for people. All right. You know, you just want to reach out and sometimes you just want to go beyond, you know, sometimes you go in your money pocket when you know before you say, mm -mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> ain't getting mine. <laughs> but you find yourself, you know, going in your money pocket, feeding somebody, right. you know, helping somebody, encouraging somebody, you yeah. know, because that's what it's all about. And so that, that's what this lady did. She was a servant. She was a helper. And apparently she must have had some money. You know, because she was a big help, not only spiritually so, but financially so too. You know, helping Paul. And he was just, what he was really doing, he was just thinking, uh, appreciating the people, you know, that helped him, uh, you know, when he was uh, needed help. Like, uh, who was it? Uh, Aquila and Priscilla. Mm -hmm. You know, they opened their doors for him to come stay. Right. And, you know, that's a blessing. And people, I remember when we first got saved, you know, we used to open our doors to you know, maybe the evangelists that come through. Because, uh, you know, when you get saved, when people teach you that, that's what you go by. Amen. You know, and 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 some, you, you don't really think some people is crooked until you kind of in here long enough, you know. And then you find out a lot of people you're trying to help, they're not real, but I think God look at your heart. And All when right. you do it from the heart, you know, uh, I, I, I was going to say, uh, one time we had this evangelist came through, and so he did a revive, I think, in Umbo. And so we opened our doors to him. Our son, there, he was just a little boy, probably age with his right there. And so uh, before we got saved, my husband had all these tapes that he would buy, you know, and play. He had this stereo. And at that age, he would uh, climb up on the bottom thing and he could watch the tapes go round and round and round. Not knowing that he remember just looking at the picture, what music was on that. And so we had put all this stuff up. We didn't throw them away. We just had to put them up. So this evangelist came to the house, and we was up in there. All of a sudden, we heard this music going. He done went in there and put a tape on Blues. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, look at this boy playing. <laughs> and we got a preacher in the house. <laughs> but anyway, you know, God is just... You know, God is just good. But I was just uh, uh, thinking that how, uh, you know, this lady, uh, ministry, just God just used her, All right. you know, to be a blessing. And to say she was highly regarded, you know, in the church. So like I said, I don't know what she, uh, <clears throat> oh, I believe she was all in the one. I believe she was a missionary because I read when she traveled. You know, took letters, you know, for Paul. So she had to be an important person, you know, to do stuff like that. She had to be trustworthy. She had to have character. And, you know, we need that in our church. We need people that are trustworthy, All that right. you can count on them, yeah. you know, for things. And you got to have character. Like the pastor said, character is what you do when ain't nobody looking. All right. You're just going to do right anyway. Yeah. And nobody ain't got to be looking. You ain't got to be people on the corner to see if anybody, if right in that's what you're going to do anyway. All right. Right. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, when you say something you just don't want to do, because right. you don't want to, you know, offend God, All and right. you know, do things, how to say, hide your hand, and uh, you just want to walk up right, and so, this lady evidently, they didn't talk about a husband or children, she seemed like she was just a person that was sold out, All right. and like I say, she took her time and money, you know, and everything for, for the gospel's sake. And uh, uh, women play an important role, you know, in in the church. Amen. And so that's why we have to train, you know, our young women. Yeah. You know, start them from small coming up, because you know we never know what our children gonna be when they grow up. That's right. Sometimes right. we look at them as you know yeah. little boys and little girls, and we don't look at maybe what God gonna do with their life, you know, when they grow up. And so we have to be careful. Uh, even how we train them up and how we treat them. 
We have to be careful sometimes how we treat our children too. Because sometimes we can say things, you know, negative about them and all that when they're growing up. And a lot of time that, you know, as they grow up, all this is still in them. But if you teach them godly character, <coughs> and you know, you never know, they might be the next uh, 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 pastor, the next, you know, evangelist. You, you just never know. All right. And I always sometimes think about uh, Craig Franklin, you know, uh, he say how he was raised up in. And but that that parent or whoever they didn't know what that young man was gonna be right. when he grow up. But God used somebody else, That's right. you know, to, to train him and to take him. And, and like they say, sometimes I was looking at this movie where uh, <clears throat> this man he didn't care, he didn't do nothing for his son except talked about him and talked about the mama. And everything never did nothing for him. And when he got to be famous, then he wanted to get on the stage and talk about my son. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he got. They said, "Well, Daddy, where were you when I was hungry? Where were you when all this has happened?" So he got embarrassed then because he didn't do anything to help his son. All right. Now when he saw the son making money, then he wanted to get in his life. Right. It was too late then. Yeah. So we have to <clears throat> love our children, you know, and train them up because we never know what they're gonna grow up to be. And a lot of times they don't know they don't have to be preachers. Or Whatever talent that God has given them, as long right. as they keep Christ, mm -hmm. you know, in 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 uh, number one in their life. Amen. So we just don't know. So we have a job to do as as, as pastors and moms and dads, you know, to train our children up. And sometimes maybe not ours. Sometimes we might be the example to another mm -hmm. child or Amen. somebody, you know, to teach them and train them, you know, what's right and what's wrong and and, and how to fear God. But it said, <clears throat> and wrote her name mean bright and radiant. Paul called her a sister in Christ. He called her a servant and a helper. And uh, she was a blessing, you know, to him, to his traveling. And, uh, you know, the things that she did. And no doubt, she fed the hungry, you know, those that needed uh, clothes, maybe, or whatever. And just looking at her life, you know, that's that's the kind of person that that she was. She just was so loud, I say, you know, so loud right. for the for the gospel. Mm -hmm. And so we got to be, you know, we think about life how short it is. Because right. I was just saying the other night, I'm just thinking one day, I said, you know what? We here for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. You know, while we are living the God, right. the time that God has given us, what we gonna do with that time? All right. You know how we gonna waste it? You know, week after week, year after year. Because I asked myself a question the other day. What have I did this whole year to encourage somebody? You know, to maybe to help somebody. Maybe to give somebody, you know, a sandwich. You know, the hungry. Because sometimes we don't know who we run into. And All we right. see a lot of people begging. And I know we have to be led by the Lord to know what's what. We know that's a lot of people. That's all they're doing, begging. But there's another I thank God put there. Just see if you're going to give them a sandwich. You know, uh, 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 whatever. Help they need. They need a ride to church or, uh, or whatever. Whatever your hands find to do, as you do, if you do it as unto God, All right. you know God's God honored it. So Amen. while we got this time, we have to we have to use it because we ain't gonna get it back. You know, if you don't do nothing, maybe today, next week. I mean, you can't get that time back. All you can't right. undo it. Like to say, you can't unspill the milk. You can't unspill <laughs> a scrambled egg. Once you scramble that, you yeah. can't put that back together. You know, and make it whole. So we're going to have to uh, uh, really seek God and, and, and guide us for him to know what direction, you know, he have us to go in. He just only wants us to live holy, you know, walk upright, and uh, whatever task he's put before us. And sometimes people think it's hard living saved. You know, it's not, you know, when you make up your mind to right. live for God, yeah. it makes your home better. All right. Yeah. You know, you got more yeah. peace in the home. and Amen. and And... And, and you know, in the church, Amen. evidently this lady wasn't no gossiper, uh, one that just stayed on the phone because they had phone back then. But now, I tell you the truth, they got phone. Amen. They got what's that? Just about everything you can name. <laughs> My brother-in-law was telling me that when his children come back to visit him again, he gonna tell them leave them phones in y'all cars or whatever. Because the whole time everybody sitting, this everybody <laughs> face. Oh, everybody to they self. Yeah. Nobody talk anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. even text now. Nobody talk on the phone anymore. Uh -uh. Everybody text. So, you know, something is good, but sometimes we can't get 
wrapped up in all of that. Cause we don't keep communicating. No. All right, no. We you don't. know, we gonna have to learn to get together. Sometimes fellowship. That's why sometimes the pastor here fellowship, because sometimes we need to get together and know one another. All right. Cause we'll come to church year after year, month after month, and don't even know the one you be in church for the whole year. You ought to know something about, you know, if you've been in the church for somebody a whole year, mm -hmm. something about, do they have a family? <laughs> Where they from? You know, or something. So we need to learn, you know, as saints to help each other, to be a servant, All right. to communicate, and, you know, not looking to see what the other one going to do. Mm -hmm. Find nothing, you know, whatever your hands find to do. All right. They All told right. me when I first got say, whatever your hands find to do. Mm -hmm. Then you do that. Yeah. You might not can do like the other person. All right. You can find something to do. <coughs> you God not gonna save you to just be a bench member. I do know that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just come and be a bench member, there's something wrong something somewhere. Wrong. Yeah. You can't yeah. say you save and just come sit down. All right. No, I don't believe that because you know I when I got saved, I was a person I ain't talked to nobody. I was really shy, I put it that way. But I asked the lady one time. Because you know you just feel bad when you don't do nothing. Well, I say me, I talk about me. And so I asked the lady, I said, well, is it all right if I come clean the bathroom? If I put some curtains up or something? So they say, sure. So, like the pastor said, when you find your niche, you do that. So all maybe right. you see things need to be painted. Yes, yes. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. You know, something you just like to do. Something people just like to do. Mm -hmm. Now, my son, he loved food with wire and all that. And see, I'm looking at this and what y'all got. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that on the way back to the church. You know, putting his screen up. All right. right. He likes to do all that. Wow. So you know, you make a veil, and he he gonna hook it up. All right. So you always learn from other people. Yeah. I try to stay open minded. You know, when I see things, oh wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And so you know, I enjoy that the screen with the words on it. I, I just be saying, I don't be knowing all the words. <laughs> but you know, today I saw the words. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Because sometimes we got to be humming stuff. I say word that I eat, but the song. <laughs> you know, but if you know the words, well, then you can sing along, Amen. you know, with the others. So it's always good to learn, you know, from somebody else. Yeah. Right. And I think you know it all. Because I say, I'll be learning until Jesus comes. All right. It's always something always to learn, something learn from somebody. Yeah. You can even learn from the kids. Amen. Even though sometimes my grandkids, they'll tell me since I'm from Louisiana, well, Big Mama, how you say 15? They say I don't say it right. <laughs> I say, well, I finished high school. <laughs> you still in elementary school. <laughs> so you better get out of elementary and middle school before you try to talk about how I talk. <laughs> I said, at least came out of school. <laughs> so anyway, so you know, I just thank God. You, you can always learn from kids. And sometimes I say, okay, well, how you pronounce this or that? So I said, okay, maybe I'm, not, maybe I'm not pronouncing it right, but okay, God know my heart. So anyway, we just appreciate God <clears throat> today. And I just want to, this lady, she just went, when I heard a preacher talk about her, I just decided, you know, to read a little up on her to see what kind of person she was and, you know, how to better, you know, my life and, you know, with God and my walk with the Lord, how I can be a, a better helper uh uh, you know, not only in the church, but to other people All to right. know that, you know, God will open doors and, and he'll make, you know, make ways for you. Amen. And just do things. We just live right. You know, just live holy. And every day, it's not going to be easy, you know, all the time. But, you know, God, he'll guide us. And if this day don't go right, Lord, well, I thank you, you know, for this day. Even though maybe everything didn't go right, I'm looking forward to another All day. Right. Sometimes right. you don't feel good, but you got to keep going. Amen. You know, and maybe things, like I said, don't work out. Maybe on the job. Okay, maybe you got a better one, but he's going to see how you're going to do on this one. That's right. You be faithful on this one, you know, then he'll open another door for you. Amen. So sometimes we just can't look at life as things that happen and this ain't working out, that ain't working out. But I was reading, you know, when you pray to God, I find out he heard me the first time. All right. He just want to see if I'm going to still be faithful, yeah. you know, to him, whether the day go good or whether it go bad. Sometimes I feel good. And, and you know, sometimes in the end, he want to come in and discourage you and things. Because I think about my sister in the hospital, and I'm sure some days, you know, she want to get discouraged and just, you know, give up. Mm -hmm. But you know, but when people is there encouraging her, right. you, yeah. know, you know, this, we praying, you know, we praying for you and we holding on for you. And that's a 
that's encouraged. That's how we encourage one another. Amen. And if we know one another going through, you know, help that person. Amen. Don't yeah. want to take it all for yourself. Wow. <clears throat> and so we just thank God on today for his goodness and for his mercy. And you know, God is just good. And and, and like Ellen Ed say, God is a, he's all day. God, but I mean, uh, all night talk, or however you want to put them, but I'm not all day. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, we just appreciate God for Amen. all of His goodness and, Praise the Lord. and just for all of His mercy. Amen. And sometimes I just think about, you know, where He brought me from and out of. And I say, God, you know, you're just good. Because sometimes I just wanted to give up. You know, even being a pastor's wife, I never desired it. You know, my husband got saved. I'm like, Lord, are you sure? You know, uh, I mean, uh, is my husband going to be a pastor? Say, I need to be a pastor. I mean, I'm going to be a pastor's wife. Oh, Lord. I <laughs> 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 mean, every time he go, I got to go. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like going, but I say, oh, okay, I got to go too. Sometimes we had to drag the children to. They didn't want to go. <laughs> but, you know, when you're small, you ain't got no choice. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you, you just don't think that. And I remember when we was going to Bay City. Uh, our son, he was old enough for a job then. Uh, well, I thought he was working one time. <laughs> we got all this way. He probably working. We dragging the girls up and down the road. I'm like, ah, so they didn't want to go. And I'm thinking, okay, he old enough where he can stay and work and do all this here. One time I find out he wasn't doing that. <laughs> but uh, I know, you know, a lot of times they got discouraged. Uh -huh. You know, and they didn't want to go. But a lot of times, to be honest, I didn't want to go. But, uh, you know, but God, I see where God has brought us from. Amen. And, you know, now they all grown. You know, got their own children and everything. And uh, God just took us through some things and and uh, I find out in this life, he gonna take you through things just to see. All right. Are you really, right. you know, love me like you say you do? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just thank God because sometimes uh, I was listening at Pastor Cota uh, yesterday because uh, he passed in Bay City. Yeah. And he was saying how the fog was so bad that they couldn't hardly see, you know, coming back home. And I can remember the uh, time we went to Bay City on a Friday night and the fog was so heavy, we couldn't even see the car in front of us. Mm -hmm. We had to get close enough to see the lights. Yeah. And uh seventh time we started out and got on 59 somewhere and my husband turned around and we was all doing this. Then we were glad we were going back home. That was too funny to go in the fog. We couldn't even see nothing. But but he was dedicated, you know, to that church in Bay City. Yeah. And he kept going and going to God fix it where you know, we came back uh, to Houston, but while we was there, we was faithful, sometimes five days a week, working, you know, all day long, and then getting off and getting ready and going to Bay City. Sometime on Sunday, we had to sleep on the chair, if we had evening service. We would nap on, on, on the seats until the service was over with, you know, we would come back home. And I think about all that, wow. And I say, you know, God, he, he don't forget your labor. All right. And all right. whatever you do, you know, he don't forget that. You know, in the long, we'll see it. You know, as time go by, I've seen how God has opened doors, you know, and made ways, you know, just since I've been saved. And so I find that he's good. And I think, you know, we wouldn't have been saved. We probably wouldn't have had this All or that. Right. You know, and that, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know how God do it. I know how he do it. I know even paying tithes and, you know, just giving. Yeah. It looked like you just give all you got, and all of a sudden, look like you got more than you want. Don't do nothing. Right. You know, financial yeah. choice. So well, well, I mean, I don't know how God do it. That's the other people. Yeah. I don't know how I do. All I know, if He says His word all says, right. that means He gonna bring it to pass. If yeah. He say He gonna bless you, you bless Him. You know. Amen. So, oh, I'm just grateful today. I'm gonna stop Amen. talking. Let me say when I do get started. Yeah. But uh, anyway, Amen. we gonna ask everybody about the head. <laughs> Father God, we just thank you thank again you, for Jesus. your goodness. We just thank you for your thank mercy. You. We just thank you. God, how you allowed thank us to be back in the house yes. of God. Thank One more you. time. We just thank you for the saints of God. Thank we thank you for Pastor and Sister 
Jonah. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless the God. Thank you. Yes. The children and the, and the, 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 the members of the church. And God, we just want to appreciate you because you've been good to us. Yeah. You say you never leave us and you never God. forsake us. Thank so God, we're looking to you to bless us and Thank keep you. us and to provide and to make ways Thank for you. us. And we just obey you, God. Thank you. <clears throat> You'll bless us. In the name of Jesus, and God, we just give you glory. We just Thank give you, you praise. Jesus. For it all, we ask you to send yeah. in souls, God. Yes. That's what it's all about. We yes. ask you to send in souls and deliver Thank and you. set men and women free Thank in the name you. of Jesus. God, let our light shine that Thank men and women to see yes. our good works in the name of and glorify God yes. in our life in Jesus' name. And God, we just appreciate you Thank because you. you've really been good to us. And God, we just want to thank you and appreciate you for all your goodness Thank you. and for all your mercy in Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.